you're an Android user, then you won't be a stranger to customization, isn't it? Android is always known for its uh, personalization features and uh, other platforms like iOS are just catching up to it. The things that we have been doing for the past 10 to 12 years, uh, Apple iPhone users are just getting now with the latest iOS 14. But that's not what we are here to talk about. Uh, since Android is so customizable, there are a lot of companies that are making different kind of operating systems that caters to a certain kind of audience. Uh, almost every phone that's out there like uh, Samsung or OnePlus or Xiaomi, they have their own UI on top that gives their own kind of flavor to the phone. There are no real stock Android phones anymore. I mean, even Google's own Pixel phones, they're running on Pixel UI. It used to run uh, stock Android back when they still had the Nexus line, but uh, since they moved to Pixel, they have made a few changes. Now, there was another company uh, in news a couple of months ago called Block, and uh, they were making a new kind of phone uh, named as the Block 018 kind of sounds like a um, expensive art or something right uh, it was an interesting phone uh, nothing great in the specs department but the software was really interesting it was entirely kind of a monochrome software that takes away from the usual colorful uh, playful experience that manufacturers encourage you to use their phones this phone was kind of focused more on uh, minimalism meaning that little is more it was basically for those who just want to get things done in a practical way and not get distracted by something else so the ui that it was running was called ratio uh, and uh, a lot of people who saw that phone, more than the phone itself, were interested in the UI. And they were asking questions that, can we get this software for our phone? I mean, after all, Block 018 was still running Android, but it was just running a custom UI on top of Android. So it's pretty obvious that you would wonder if you can install it on your phone, right? Android launchers are nothing new. Uh, if you go on Play Store and search for a launcher, uh, you get a whole lot of different options. In fact, I myself am using a Nova Launcher on all my devices for the past two years. I really like the customization that it brings. So thankfully, the company Block uh, listened to our requests and uh, they completely switched over to making software for different kind of phones. They say their Block 018 smartphone was a, a success. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, they have switched to only making software which you can download on eligible phones. Now, when I say eligible, uh, it's not really available for all Android phones yet. Uh, they started off with OnePlus phones because um, I think they chose that as their developer device mainly because it has Project Treble I guess. In case you don't know, Project Treble is um, kind of a technique which Google introduced where the manufacturer can separate the Google Android OS and their separate software uh, as two different packages. So when there's an Android update, say for example you're running Android 10 with a manufacturer's UI, if Google launches Android 11, they can simply replace the Android 10 with 11 and have the same software running on top. It basically means you will get faster Android updates. So OnePlus is one of those companies who has Project Treble on all of their phones. So maybe that's why Block developers chose the OnePlus 7 Pro as their developer device and they made all of their software changes to it and um, they rolled out for OnePlus phones first. Now there was an option for uh, Google Pixel phones as well but many others like myself who use Samsung phones, I wanted to try that myself. So they enrolled a feature where you can join a waitlist uh, where you will be notified if your device is eligible to download the block ratio launcher. I joined that waitlist I think about a month or maybe two months ago and a few days ago I got the email that the Note 9 has block ratio and I can download it now. So I thought let's just check it out together and uh, I'm, I'm going to download it right now and see. Now in the email they sent, um, they don't really give you the direct APK link or anything. They give you this ratio updater. I guess from which you have to download yourself manually, we'll see. It seems to be downloading. And right from the screen, you can see how minimal it is. Um, only what you require. <laughs> Ratio updates, the download status and uh, any status on the updates, that's it. No icons, no animations, nothing. It's just a monochrome screen with information that you need. Could be interesting. Okay. Ratio, there we go. Let's install it. You'll have to allow this uh, installation from this source because uh, Android by default blocks app installs anywhere outside of Play Store. So it's a security feature, but um, these are uh, this is a pretty trusted installer, I think. I don't know what this block lines is. Uh, probably an extra feature. Not sure. Okay, it says successfully installed. So now if I hit the home button, oh yeah, there it is. Block launcher. Let's check it out. Ratio. Oh. That's the one UI screen. Did it crash? Loaded. Okay. Oh, for some reason it crashed the first time. Okay, now it's fine. 
Ratio is a minimal launcher designed to refine your smartphone experience. The quick guide will show you the basic features. Yeah, usually I would skip, but uh, I don't know anything about this, so I'm just gonna start a tour. Let's see. So I think this is kind of like um, it's called drawers. Apparently, it's kind of like a folder, I suppose, which has a bunch of apps. Press and slide your finger. Oh, sh should I skip the guide? Damn it! I didn't mean to skip the guide. Well, I guess we are finding out stuff ourselves now. App categorize. Oh, okay. It automatically categorizes a bunch of applications for us. Essentials app. Did it? Okay. Huh, so that's the home screen. Look at that. I mean, I love dark mode. Okay, it crashed. It's not very stable, as you can see. It keeps crashing. Okay, let's try again. Huh, so it's running on monochrome mode. Uh, which looks great on this AMOLED screen. So if your device has an AMOLED display, then this will look amazing on it. You probably already know that. So these are all kind of like folders. Uh, you can open or close them by tapping on them. Swiping doesn't seem to do anything. Huh. If you swipe to the left, uh, it's typical to what OnePlus devices have. Uh, usually when you swipe left on a OnePlus device, there is uh, something called OnePlus Shelf. Uh, or at least it used to be called shelf i don't know what it's called now but uh, uh, it's basically like a collection of all the uh, apps and uh, a couple of quick shortcuts and stuff uh, xiaomi has their own version of it so i think this is called the root this is your service center you can read news check weather yeah it's basically the same thing search for videos okay so yeah you can see it's not just a, a basic level launcher it, it's completely changing the way your interface looks other than the notification shade of course um, this is not the part of a launcher so it doesn't matter which launcher you install um, this ui will not really change a launcher is basically like your desktop so it changes your icons and the home screen that you have it's kind of cool i guess i mean it's uh, neatly categorized and you don't have a bunch of apps floating around so you can only click on stuff that you want how do I organize things? Do I just click and drag? Oh yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, what happened? All the text is dark, I can't even see what's going on. Changes. Huh. That's weird. So if I move an app around somewhere, so that's a bug, I think. That's a software problem. Uh, the text changes to black uh, if I move things around but after I give save changes it seems to go back to normal I don't know if that was intended what if I turn off dark mode would that change anything no okay so this is independent of your device's dark mode I guess what else do we have mm, is this like a universal search Okay, no, it just searches for your apps. Um, okay, so if you press and hold on this tiny icon down here, it gives you a bunch of extra options where you can uh, create a new drawer, focus mode, sun mode. Does it increase the brightness or? Oh, okay, yeah, it changes the uh, color so you can easily view it outdoors. Um, this is also a nice look, I think. Once in a while, you can switch to this when you're outdoors. Okay, so pressing and holding on a drawer gives you a bunch of options down here. Uh, very uh, user friendly like it's all the way at the bottom so since we have huge phones now you don't have to reach all the way to top to do anything uh, that's really cool and once you open an app it's uh, pretty much the same thing but um, when you close it yeah uh, you, you're greeted with a interesting kind of a home screen does it change my lock screen nope lock screen is the same but home screen changes Tapping on this seems to toggle between sun mode and night mode. It doesn't work all the time. Okay, yeah, it's it's a, it's work in progress, I guess. So swiping to the right, something called tree. Be the first to try the tree. I don't know what tree is. Maybe it's like a collection of messages. I think that's what they are showing off here. Huh, interesting. Submit your email for a chance to participate in our beta. Yeah. Okay. I've signed up for the beta of this tree thing. Let's see. Uh, when they give me an email, I'll probably make another video. 
tile settings hmm. you can change a bunch of settings here as well so this is an interesting thing so it's a notification pill apparently so when you get a notification it blinks like that uh, you can change the speed if you want this will be useful for phones that uh, don't really have a notification LED. Well, I have it, so it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, Lines is an icon pack. I didn't know that. Let's download it. No? Okay, so it has a bunch of icons for, you know, it's like a general any other icon pack. So some special apps which don't really have icon packs in this will be, um, they will look normal with a grayscale filter on it. but. Anything that has an icon in it, in this icon pack, will be replaced. So, that will be pretty cool. All your system apps and some popular apps, they have icons. How does Among Us game not have an icon? Damn it. It's kind of cool, I think. I mean, uh, it has some stability issues. As you saw, it crashed a bunch of times. But, um, it's a cool thing to try out. I mean, if you are into custom launchers and you are bored of the look of your phone, you can definitely give this one a shot. So that's block ratio. Kind of an interesting launcher, isn't it? A little bit different than what we are used to uh, seeing in the Play Store. I'll definitely be using this for a while and see if, um, I don't know, if I see an appeal to this over the uh, Nova launcher, which I already have. By the way, I have the prime version of Nova launcher, so it has a lot of features. I don't know how this thing uh, stacks up to that because I'm someone who likes a lot of features. And this is the opposite of that. It has less features, so it doesn't distract you. Hmm. For someone who uses their phone all the time, uh, this will be a pretty challenging thing. But uh, yeah, let's see. It should be an interesting uh, change. In case you want to enroll to have this on your device as well, I'll leave a link down there to their website. The only phones that are not getting any updates for now are Xiaomi devices. I don't know, maybe uh, uh, Block has some issue with the Xiaomi or uh, I'm not sure. It's their choice. But Xiaomi phones uh, are not getting any, uh, any of this software anytime soon. But if you have anything else like uh, any other company phone, uh, then you should be in the list for pretty soon. I mean, this is just an APK. It's just about having your phone registered and having that custom link sent to your email. I mean, uh, I don't want to disrespect the company, but there's nothing that special about this launcher. I, I don't know why they won't just release the APK for everyone to download. I mean, they can just release the app on Play Store, right? Not sure what their business decision is, but Whatever, I'll leave the business part to them. Anyway, let me know if you have any specific questions about this and I'll try to answer them. So that has been a quick look at the block ratio software and a little bit of their history. Um, that's it for now. Until next time, take very good care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Cheers.